Hello, welcome to Evans Gardening on YouTube. In today's video, we're going to be separating cactus seedlings. So, as you can see, um, there's loads in this um pot here, and I bought these from the shop. Um, so what, how they, how it's been grown is they've got a pot of soil and just sprinkled the seeds. Now it's better to buy them already grown, the seedlings, because um, I like. So five seeds per small pot like that, and for some reason only one of them will germinate. So it's better to buy the um seeds already grown. Um. So anyway, like I said, that they're starting to grow upward. If I bring it a little bit closer, as you can see, there's like a baby cactus, and that's about a centimeter tall. Um, so anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be separating um, these plants because they are all individual plants. Um, just as a quick guide, there's about two leaves per plant. Um, so if you think that that is quite a lot of leaves. Um, so anyway, I'm going to um, be planting them into the red pot um, below. So as you can see, there's a crock at the bottom of the pot and I've used some... Um, ready-made cactus soil from b and q um so the reason that i put the crock is because that soil is really powdery and really dry because that's the condition that the cactus likes um so because there's a big hole in the bottom of the pot all of that would fall straight out of the pot so that's why it's important to put a crock at the bottom Okay, so now we're going to be doing um, the very delicate part. Be very careful when handling um, cactus seedlings because um, the leaves are very fragile. They're basically like um, succulent leaves. They, when they snap, um, they are very easy to snap. So I, I am going to be using a tool. Um, I've got this one here. I might not use it when I'm separating them individually, but if I want to do a clump at a time and then separate them then instead of separating them from the big pot, because there's approximately 100 there. Um, so I might actually try with the end. Okay, I've just got two out then, so I'll um, separate them individually. So, um, if I just show you, so I'll pull them apart um, in a minute. Um, so that's basically all you've got to do um, to separate them. And now, if you bought it and you didn't want to separate them, they're fine to leave, um, but eventually they'll start to die um, because they haven't got their own space um, to grow. Um, they could most probably stay like that for another six months. But then after that, then, then maybe you'll start to die and grow taller. So that's why it is important to transplant them if you want to grow them into big cactuses. So, whew, I've done all of um, the um, seedlings. Um, so as you can see... Um, there's about a hundred there and we're just going to be potting them up so i'm going to show you me potting three up and then i'll do the rest um off camera so and um, this uh, little handy tool that i had offline just to make a little hole and then um, i always um, make it a little bit um wider with my finger um so then you're going to firm the style around it like an ordinary seedling because um, these are these are seedlings but of a cactus so plant them like you would with any other cactus and now if you are starting them from seed um, I'll put the video link in the description box below so you can copy paste it um, to your search browser um, but 
um, when you sow them from seed, um, like I said earlier on in this video, they may not all germinate it because I ha I sown five seeds and only one of them germinated. Um, but anyway, you can sow cactuses all year round, so I would recommend it. So anyway, I've, I'll put that in the description box below. So I've done three, so there they all are. I've put them in a propagator, and that is important. If Even if they're on a windowsill, put them in a propagator. Um, water, water these about once or twice a month. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.